So how many times have you said you're going to organize your shop? You're quarantined for COVID-19, this is the time to do it. I'm going to give you a bunch of little tips that I use around the shop. Um, some people say I'm a hoarder, some people say I'm a cheap old bastard. Uh, I like to think of it as I repurpose and reuse a lot of things. So you can be the judge. Sonny's going to help whether we want him to or not, so he's here. First thing, the original go-to storage container was the mayonnaise jar and the baby food jar. But they were glass, and I don't like those because you always run the risk of breaking them. The new ones are all plastic, and I really like those because they're see-through uh, and they're organized. So you can't have too many Tupperware containers. You can go to a garage sale and pick these up, and a whole box full of them for a dollar. Uh, why not use those? Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken just started using these little things for their side dishes. I haven't started using them yet, but I plan to. Uh, some bungee cords came in this. This is a really nice solid container with a good lid. Uh, most people would just throw that away. Our uh, dishwashing detergent that we use came, comes in this. It's a nice solid plastic container and if you can get the label off, which is a little bit of a trick, uh, it's see-through. You can always just take a sharpie and mark on those to keep things going. Uh, I keep some of the old salad containers. They're a little flimsy, but when you have like wiring harnesses and other little parts that are lightweight, those work really well also. And the, the key thing is if you can see in them, then you don't have to scrounge around to find out what you want. Baggies, you can't have too many baggies. Keep a, keep a box of gallon baggies and quart baggies in your shop all the time. This is my power washer. Uh, I, it came with uh, some extra O-rings and an extra filter, so I put those in there, labeled it. They all go in a drawer. Uh, if I need the parts for something, I know exactly where they are and they're all labored. I don't have to run around, look for them for two days and try to figure out what's going on. So always do that. Uh, dog biscuit container. Keep my uh, emergency vest in there. Keep them clean and dry. Two little tricks. Uh, these are bus trays that uh, you can get at restaurant supply places. I uh, have several of these. It's an old dustpan. If you have stuff in your jar and you need to sort it out, sprinkle it in an old dustpan. You can get what you want. And then when you're finished, you have an automatic funnel to put it back in there. And uh, works the same with this old bus tray. I, if I'm going to throw something away, I usually scavenge the screws out of it and stuff. And I throw them in this old, uh, I think it's an ice bucket. And then a couple times a year, I take them out and sort through them and put them in different things. But you can just dump them on that tray, sort through them, keep them organized. When you're all done, dump them back in there. Just time savers. Um, most people are throwing that stuff out. This is actually a must for your shop. Little dry erase board. This one's magnetic. It has a little uh, thumbtack area on it. Put stuff up. This holds my uh, my little markers and my eraser. That was just a packaging for some cargo straps. So I screwed it to the wall. Works really, really well. Air hoses, extension cords, something that's always a mess around the shop. This is a good metal uh, garden hose holder, and it works really, really well for holding air hoses or extension cords. Uh, I, on my extension cords, I usually put those on just some half-inch EMT, drill you a three-quarter inch hole in two by four, drill it angled up a little bit, because when you put that in there, it's gonna fall down, but uh, you can cut them any length you want, and uh, use them to hang all sorts of stuff. There's my tool belt that I use in my trouble light. I have a whole bunch of them in the other room for uh, ropes. This is an old tackle box. I keep it for all my electrical work. So I have uh, wire nuts, uh, little crimp on connectors. Uh, all my Cat5 stuff is in here. Crimpers, cutters, uh, telephone cable stuff, all the little ends that you need for that. Um, wire ties, wire staples, everything one-stop shopping. Cat litter containers. These things are great. They're just like buckets with lids on them and they have great handles. So uh, as you can see, I have a lot of them and I have them all labeled for whatever uh, is in it. Keep everything organized. This is uh, copper and I have uh, my brass fittings that go with the copper, the flare fittings. Hangers, again, baggies, using baggies all the time. Uh, little copper strap hangers and you can throw the contractor packs in there and then just all the little miscellaneous pieces. 
So I have a lot of different hobbies, plus I live on a farm where something's always broken. So I kind of organize my tools by grouping. So like this is my plumbing toolbox. And then there's, of course, my copper fittings and I have my PVC fittings and everything up in separate boxes. So just buying an old toolbox and here I have my flux, you know, my Teflon tape, plumber's tape, some emergency shark bites, keep those, a little pipe wrench, pipe cutter, flaring tool down in here, you know. So I can grab one toolbox, one tote of parts and the torch, and you know, I'm off wherever the repair needs to be made. So this might seem a little excessive to some of you, uh, but you probably don't live in the middle of nowhere like I do. So I'm a minimum of 13 miles to the nearest store where I can buy anything. Uh, if I want to go to a Lowe's or something like that, I'm 30 miles out. So if I need a $2 pack of these crimp on connectors, I, I'm 45 minutes in, 45 minutes back, right in the middle of the day. You might see you just shot the entire day, practically. So I have quite a few of these little totes uh, for cleaning supplies and stuff. Uh, I have one that I keep my hot glue gun in and all the hot glue, and another one for the rivet gun and all the rivets and sanding paper and steel wool. Uh, I use this one for the little oil cans because, you know, what happens, you use an oil can and then it drips all over everything and all over your shelving or whatever. So take one of these, put some paper towels in the bottom of it, and then keep them in there and then they, they can drain off and you can change out to paper towels. So I have a set of this luggage and I had a garage sale and I tried to sell them for a buck a piece and couldn't get rid of them. I thought, why are you trying to sell these and then you're going to go to a store and buy a toolbox for your truck. So this is my little emergency toolbox that I keep in the truck. You know, duct tape, you can't do anything without duct tape, hammer, you know, some cheap wrenches and pliers and stuff. I just keep all that, keep it behind the seat in the truck. And then shopping bags, you know, everybody has cloth shopping bags now. So when they get worn out, you don't want to use them for groceries. I have one of these for bungee cords and one for uh, cargo straps. And I keep those in the truck behind the seat. This is some more free stuff. These are children's toy boxes that were being thrown out. I put them up on casters. Uh, I use all my uh, little scraps of wood in here that I want to do test cuts on. And then I throw all my old scraps in here. I uh, use that to start fire with in the winter. Here we have an old shop vac canister. It already has casters on it, so I use it to store miscellaneous pipe and uh, handles and different things in. This is an old bread display case. It swivels. It's a great place to stick stuff back in the back room. The other side, more kitchen drawer organizers and Tupperware. This is a stainless steel restaurant bus cart. Uh, somebody was throwing it out, so of course you know I had to have it. Uh, it's on casters. I use it for a little soldering table and a roll around work table. Put a little cheap vise on there. Uh, it works great. It's almost indestructible. And uh, even when you're working with some chemical products, uh, you can spill them on there and it doesn't do any damage. This is a store liquidation item I got for $3.50. It was a mailbox for the employees. These are kitchen drawer organizers. You know, I shove all kinds of stuff in there. Pencils, chisels, whatever, air compressor parts. This is another store liquidation item. Uh, I believe it was a Levi's Blue Jeans uh, display case. It might have been a t-shirt display case. I put it up on casters so I can roll it around where I want it. Works out really, really well. Another free item, an old waterbed frame that was sitting alongside of the road. I put it up on casters and mounted my uh, radial arm saw to it. Just to kind of wrap it up, I mainly did this just to give you some ideas. Stuff that you look at as trash that you're throwing out every single day, you could be using to organize your shop. Uh, you probably noticed I use a lot of old restaurant fixtures, a lot of old store fixtures. Those are really heavy commercial items. You can pick them up for just a few bucks, like the $3 mailbox that's sitting over there. Uh, some of the others they're just throwing out, like the little stainless steel cart that I showed you. Um, there, there's just treasures everywhere. You just have to look for them. So hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. And, uh, you know, in this whole process, I have about 20, maybe $25 worth of, of um, containers in all of this. And uh, look how much money I had left over to buy tools, the real treasure. So good luck.